Hey everyone, we are starting a new week at the Hyatt House and um, I am somewhat confident that we are gonna finish our electrical and our plumbing this week. Um, let's go inside because we have got some questions with the kitchen. So let's go check that out. So it's a new week and it is all about electrical. Check out all this stuff. Um, these are all of our lines that are coming to that panel. Um, we're in that downstairs bedroom. Go in the mudroom and I'll show you. If you guys remember, we talked we were going to put the panel here and then that didn't work when we opened up that wall behind us. So, it's going right here. It still works. It's near the back door. It's in the mudroom. It's not a real um, conspicuous place. Um, so, all the, wi the wires from all over the house will come to here. The other thing that we are working on this week is the kitchen. So, both the plumbers and the electricians are starting to rough in the kitchen. Um, so, what I'm going to do is go back to my desk and show you how we how we design this kitchen. So as promised, I am back at my desk and I thought I would just show you how we go about getting to our kitchen design. Um, so the first thing that I do is draw the whole house. So here's your first floor, second floor, and third. Um, if I zoom in, you can see that's that um, main suite with the bathroom. This is the bathroom for this bedroom. Um, here is that wall that we built with the pocket doors on the third floor. So all of these have, have stuck pretty true to the original plan. Um, this is the ground floor and this is an old version. So this is not how it actually ended up, but here's your front door. The porch would be here. There's the stairs. Um, this for, uh, laundry room has totally changed as has the layout of this bathroom. So, um, like I said, old version, but let's look at the kitchen. So I, um, whoops, a floating island. Um, I tried very hard to get an island in this kitchen. I knew from the start that I wanted the range to be right here between those two windows that face the river on the, then face the front porch. Um, and then I needed a refrigerator, I needed storage. Um, I wanted an island with the sink in it. Really, you need a sink in an island if you don't have a window where you can face the sink because nobody wants to wash dishes or work at the sink and face a wall. So you need to either be facing out into the room or you need to be facing out a window. Um, and then an island really requires a sink a dishwasher and a little bit of landing space on the opposite side of the dishwasher. So I laid this room out. I kept trying to figure it out. You've got so much depth you have to have here, so much depth you have to have here. It just wasn't working. Um, you can see that I did some elevations. So here's that range between the windows and cabinetry. These are gonna have to be custom cabinets because that window is just a little bit lower than what a standard height would be. So this would be a standard height and these are gonna drop down. Um, I drew in a fridge and then if you look at this, I even put in that, um, that beam that we're gonna wrap with the old wood and then the original arches that we're gonna put back into place. My goal is to use some of this wood to make the hood as well, to tie that together. And you see it looks great with an island, but the truth is there's just not enough space. So what I finally decided I had to do was take this island and drag it over here and really make a peninsula. So this is gonna be an L-shaped space, which will give me plenty of space to move here. Whoops. Um, in fact, I can make this a little bit longer so that I have lots of walking space. So, once we decided that a peninsula was the way we had to go, um, I met with Lee Bearfield, who um, works with 
Wellborn Forest Cabinet Company. And they are the cabinets that I've used on most of my last projects. Um, and so what he does is I send him my floor plan. He also measures the space and then he actually puts in the actual cabinets that he's recommending. So this would be a pantry cabinet. That would be a cabinet over a fridge. So he makes all of these recommendations. Then I map this out on the floor because just because it works on a floor plan on paper does not necessarily mean it's gonna work in the room. And this did not. It was 172 inches from the back wall or the window wall to the overhang. Um, and it was just too close to the door. Someone sitting in a bar stool right here would be in that doorway. So we knew we had to shrink this up. So our next version got a little shorter. And this is the one that we're actually gonna go with. So we're looking at 136 inches along this wall. Then you get the sink, the dishwasher. Um, we made our pantry a little bit larger so that we could move the microwave into the pantry area. Um, and then I'm gonna show you some of the diagrams or the 3D renderings that we've done. This will give you an idea of what that kitchen is going to feel like. Um, we're gonna have um, a hood, hopefully using repurposing some of that old wood. Here's our peninsula. And this will divide the front part of that room to the back part where the fireplace is. And then just to show you, here we are in floor plan. So you can see how we go from just a basic floor plan to one that really helps you visualize what it's gonna look like. And so here's a view looking from the fireplace area into the kitchen. My goal is to keep that space really flexible so that a homeowner could use it as a breakfast room or a family room. Um, or a dining room, depending on how they want to use the house. But this peninsula will divide that space. Here's a better look at that back wall. We'll have the range. Um, these windows are not to scale, so the windows will actually come all the way down to this countertop. I shared with you that we're gonna have to do a custom cabinet here and here to allow for those windows. So they'll be a little bit shorter than a standard countertop. And the only challenge that we have here is this side and this side of the range are not intended to be seen. So we're gonna have to do something creative to make that pretty so that you're not looking at the ugly metal side of a range. Here are a few more drawings. Um, this is the east wall and I told you um, this is a slightly outdated version um, because we moved the refrigerator to the right or closer to the front of the house and made that pantry a little larger. Um, of course, that made the, pan the cabinet on the right smaller, but that's a dead end corner and those aren't really very useful anyway. So definitely better use of the real estate to make the pantry larger. And this is actually gonna house all of the appliances or some of the appliances, small appliances. So this is the west wall. The foyer and stairs are behind this wall. If you remember, this is a wall that we completely reframed because it wasn't plumb or level or straight. And we knew we would be hanging a lot of cabinets on that wall. So we reframed that wall. Um, you can see the peninsula to the right. And um, we've got a good bit of counter space on this side because counter space is a must in a kitchen. Turning slightly, here's a view of um, that peninsula, the dishwasher, the sink. There will be an overhang so that you could do counter height stools on the other side, and that will be dividing between that breakfast room or whatever you want to use it for and the kitchen. So now that you've seen how we go from measuring the space to laying all of the cabinets out. Um, I am gonna print all of these diagrams off and take them back over to the Hyatt house. I'm gonna get with my plumber and my electricians, and we're gonna make sure that we know where every receptacle and every drain and every gas line needs to be. So let's go back to the Hyatt house. So now that you've seen how we go about getting these kitchen plans, 
Now we're back at the house and you can see that we have made a little progress over here. Um, our plumber has run our water lines. So we've got our hot and cold for our sink as well as the drain. That'll be the drain probably for the dishwasher. Um, over there, we've got a water line for our refrigerator. I don't know if you can see the lights doing something weird, but that is a gas line for the range. So all that we need for plumbing is roughed out in the kitchen. So that um, peninsula is gonna happen right here. We'll have our fridge and our pantry over there. Our oven, I told you about those little cabinets that'll drop down a little bit lower under the windows. And then we'll have countertop and cabinets all around here. So the next is to start running electrical. They've done just a little bit of that. But um, I am hopeful that this week, we are gonna get all of our rough-in complete and I can call for a rough-in inspection. And then the next step is insulation. But we've got a lot to do before then. It is another um, beautiful day. We've been really lucky with um, a gorgeous week here and um, we're getting a lot done. We are getting the electrical in the front porch. Um, if you know me, you know I loathe ceiling fans, but I did do two on the front porch because um, this is just such a great porch to sit on, but we do get a lot of breeze off the water, but it'd be nice to have a couple ceiling fans. We're doing some ring cams out here um, and we are also getting the kitchen wired. Um, I showed you all about that process. We're knocking that out. Um, the insulation guys are on the way over to talk to me about insulation. And, um, and then maybe we might even see some inspectors today and make some progress on that. So that's what's happening today. So all those drawings that you just saw have been printed out and given to my electricians and it's all been roughed in. We've got can lights. We've got power for the dishwasher. We've got um, receptacles and lines for under cabinet lighting. Um, we've got um, refrigerator hookup, refrigerator receptacle. Um, we're gonna have some power in our pantry. So the entire kitchen is now roughed in and ready to go. All right, so that is a wrap of another week at the Hyatt House. We finished all the electrical, we finished all of the plumbing, um, the HVAC has been finished, so it's time to get an inspector in here, get all of our rough in approved, and then the next step is insulation, and we are already on the calendar for the insulation guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed another week at the Hyatt House. I hope you enjoyed learning how we go about designing a kitchen. So, come back next week when hopefully we'll be passing inspections and putting in some insulation.